All right, well, one of the great things about the tour as I move across the country is I get to stop and do different things, meet different people. I'm here in Leadville, Colorado. It's one of my favorite uh, places to stop. And uh, it's been a long week, there's been a lot of work going on, a lot of uh, stuff going on on the internet, a lot of stuff going on with uh, the blogs and things like that. But in the background, I found this great place uh, run by Ben Dallas. It's called Two Guns Distillery. It is a legal distillery of moonshine and whiskey. Um, he's open to the public, he's selling by the jug. I'm taking a few jugs and shipping them back home. And uh, Ben, I really appreciate you uh, showing us around. I appreciate you. He's also, by the way, a firearms enthusiast, the big gun guy. We were talking late last night about some of the cool stuff he's into, and that's the, uh, the, the source of the name Two Guns Distillery. Two Guns Distillery. Yeah, so it is the highest distillery in the world at 10,200 feet. We are uh, making moonshine and whiskey at a higher elevation than anyone else in the world. And what that does for us is gives us an opportunity to run different yeasts and different temperatures, and in the end, that all combines to create a um, pretty amazing whiskey and moonshine. It went through a really mellow process by just the, the altitude and everything up here. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to take a look back here, these are the two stills. The all copper one is just for making my whiskey. And then the um, still next to it with all the uh, little refraction plates, the little sight glasses, that's my moonshine still. And so my moonshine is distilled eight times and it's just super pure and clean and crisp and we'll put it up against any neutral spirit in the world vodka um, you name it and so it's we're a tiny operation you can see in the back all this is the whole operation fermentation to distillation back behind the blue barn door over there is where we age it and then we move the tables around and bottle it right in here all right what we have here is the wild west whiskey this is an old historical boomtown recipe. It really hasn't been made for a hundred years because um, back when uh, the West uh, started to get developed, the distilleries with the economics of scale pushed out all the little Western uh, distilleries that had this style of whiskey. So it kind of went away. I was lucky enough to come across a recipe and this is what you would have been served if you bellied up to a bar in the 1880s, 1890s is this frontier style whiskey, so we're excited to bring it back and it's had an excellent response. Single Six Moonshine. You guys are gonna like this one. Uh, I set out, I had a lot of friends who were just beer drinkers, they'd come over to my pub. They would drink on just a, uh, you know, beers or they'd want to mix it with stuff and uh, I kept making this moonshine smoother and smoother and smoother until I had friends who were only beer drinkers and they would they would sit there, instead of pouring just one shot, they'd pour six in a glass because it's so, so smooth and then put a splash of Coke or something on it. And it, um, I had a friend who said, uh, you know, I was planning on uh, six, but it only takes one and ended up getting the name Single Six. Well, listen, uh, I've been able to taste this stuff this week. Um, it is very cool. Like I said, I have a few jugs uh, going back home. I, I love the fact that it's a, an entrepreneur. It's someone who uh, obviously is proud of firearms heritage. Uh, even if someone comes in and they're passing through Leadville, and we know Colorado right now is pretty oppressed as far as uh, gun laws. We have some changes coming up here that are not good. Those changes are being fought. But here's a guy who's not afraid to put a couple guns on his logo and, and literally call his distillery Two Guns Distillery right here in uh, really what is the western front of our uh, fight against the uh, firearms, the rights encroachment that's going on in the U.S. right now. So, uh, Ben, really cool. This is good stuff. Um, I'm taking, these are two of the many bottles I'm taking to ship on the Ohio. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.